Do you know that your CCTV system has more than five types of recordings built into them? Yes, today I'm going to talk about the different types of recordings available in all type of CCTV systems. Hi, I'm Sibin, an expert in security and surveillance products and also the founder of Trinity Computer Solutions. Let's try to understand how many type of recording is possible in a camera or a recording unit. The first type is full recording. Usually by default your CCTV system is set to full recording. Now here all the cameras are recording for 24 hours and once the hard drive gets full it overwrites the first data and continues the same cycle again and again. In any CCTV setup our main or entry cameras or exit cameras are very critical for us because that's the camera which captures faces, details of vehicles etc. So we will have this camera in full recording. Second type is motion based recording. In this type of recording, we will be asking the cameras or the recording unit to record only when it senses a movement of a person or a vehicle or an animal or it could be an object. That is when there is a change in the image frame. We can save at least 50% to 70% of recording space when setting it to motion based recording. Maybe our periphery cameras or cameras in a corridor or isolated areas which is not an important area of security then you can put those cameras in motion based recording. The third type is mixed recording. There will be certain areas which will be primary areas but again during some point of the day or night you may want to just monitor it and doesn't play a critical role in security. For example, we may have movements during daytime but during night we may have lesser movements like in a classroom or in an office. So we can put these cameras in full recording during the daytime and during night time we can put them to motion based recording. Again, we are not compromising the quality and security by getting what we want and finally helps us in achieving more recording space. Next is alarm based recordings. There will be some backup cameras which are critical to us only during the time of an incident and we would have connected alarms to trigger when there is an issue. For example, it can be a bank locker, an ATM kiosk, a fire station etc. So the primary camera records the camera normally but this backup camera you need the recording only when there is a trigger from the alarm thereby avoiding unnecessary duplicates and also saving a lot of space as well. The fifth type is smart recordings. Likewise, based on the type of an NVR or a DVR you are going for, you can have many more functions like a no parking zone, a no intrusion zone, you may have restricted areas, no entry zones and much more. You can set the cameras to record only when someone is entering or exiting a specific area or a specific zone which is defined by you. The next type of recording and the last type of recording is artificial intelligence based recordings. In the newer model DVRs and NVRs, you can also have cameras to record only when it detects a human or a vehicle movement. There are a lot more features built into it with artificial intelligence and many more types on which you can define recordings on. But this is just one example that I told you. So today we discussed on the different types of recordings available and basically the first two are commonly used and is available in all types of DVR and NVRs, even the basic ones. Hope you found the information helpful. Tag your friends whom you feel this might be helpful. Let us know what questions you have and we will answer them for you. Keep following our page and channel for more videos. This is Sibin signing off. See you in my next video. Thank you.